bringing in our three attorneys, Rainey Sandler, criminal defense attorney, Lonnie Coombs, former prosecutor and author of Your Perfect, and Jordan Rose. And uh, just to uh, get things started, let's start with Rainey Sandler. You're a criminal defense attorney who has taken Jody Arias' side. Do you think that these photos could end up, even though they were introduced by the prosecution, helping the defense? Absolutely. Today was a great day for the defense, and as vivid and, and graphic as these photos are, it actually helps the defense. It sets up either, in a best-case scenario for the defense, self-defense. Worst-case scenario for the defense, it negates premeditation and deliberation and intentional murder. It sets up the, the fight. It sets up the second-degree murder. So I think, all in all, a very good day for the defense today. Lonnie Coombs, former prosecutor. Yes. Yes. Good day or you know, bad day? I, I, How do these sexual photos impact the case? Well, I, obviously, it's going to be a mixed bag here because, as you say, sex is always a wild card for people. There's so many different stereotypes that people are dealing with, and a lot of people out there still don't believe that a woman can necessarily enjoy sex the way that, um, you know, with all of these sex games. And so that's going to play into this defense of she was being forced to do this. This was an abusive situation. She didn't want to be there. However, the key in this case is, while it's hard and boggling to the mind that she went from sex to violence, we know that very soon after that, she went back to sex when she went and met her lover in Salt Lake City. And whatever it is about Jodi Arias, she is able to go from sex, coldly killing, and back to sex. And that's what the jury needs to focus on. Shanna Hogan, journalist, author of Picture Perfect. Uh, these were introduced by the prosecution. Uh, what is your reaction? You've studied this case head to toe of the impact that these photos are going to have. Well, it certainly blows her, you know, demure ingenue act that she's been putting on in court, that she's too sweet and innocent to engage in some sort of sexual activity. I, I disagree with the defense attorney that was on a little bit earlier. I think it was a really bad day for the defense. It shows that she could do these things, and she, you know, was clearly enjoying herself at one point in the day, and that she just snapped and was able to do the things that now she admits to. So we know she did those things. So we know she was able to go from sex to murder. Uh, listen. These are two consenting adults engaged in this behavior at that time. Uh, but I want to bring in psychotherapist Robbie Ludwig. Again, sex is the wild card. You never know how a jury, and there's, it's a predominantly male jury, is going right. to react. Are they going to decide she is some of those bad names that she was called uh, in, in opening statements uh, while emails were read? Mm -hmm. I don't need to repeat those yeah. words. Yeah. Are they going to, is, is this going to cheapen her or could the jury become sympathetic toward her, oh. concluding that she was sexually exploited by Travis. It's a tough leap. I mean, you have to think that there's going to be some judgment there. Jody is such a beautiful girl, and here she is seductive and being portrayed as this, you know, sexualized woman, almost like a porn star. It's, I don't think you look at these pictures and just automatically assume that she's being abused. I wouldn't look at those photos and think she's being abused. I might think that they have a different agenda agenda and maybe that triggered a rage but I don't know that we're seeing abuse here I mean you can weave that picture I think it could work for the prosecution and as well if she felt humiliated by taking these photos she could have experienced rage after that said that's oh, right how could he have done that to me boom or why does it. he only love me for sex why doesn't he love me for me? Why isn't he choosing me? Why am I only a sex object to him? Eight seconds, what are the pigtails? She's acting like a little girl, feels powerless perhaps, and it sounds like it was role playing going on. Sexual role playing. Sexual role where playing. She's the school girl. She's a school girl. It sexually turned him on. She wanted to turn him on, and she assumed this role. But you said something interesting to me. You said before we got started that photos, sexual photos, are usually something that men like to do. It doesn't turn women on as much because they're I, not as visually oriented. I don't think so. I think for men, it turns them on. It stops a moment in time, a pleasurable moment on, in time, so that they can revisit it again. Mm. So it's almost like that sexual peak gets relived. Later, we're going to talk to a stalking survivor who was living a real nightmare. She says her husband made her a domestic slave and then framed her for murder, her unbelievable